Did you know that Jacksonville is the is one of the top 10 cities here in the United States with the highest rate of new HIV diagnosis? And it's number three right here in Florida. 6,000 Duval County residents are living with this deadly virus every single day. And a local organization is opening a new medical facility on the south side, really in an effort to help. Heather Vaughn with Lutheran Social Services is joining us this morning on The Morning Show. Thank you for being here. Do appreciate it. Good to Hi. see you. Let's talk a little bit about, I, I have to admit, uh, growing up in Jacksonville uh, all my life, I was surprised to see these figures, number nine in the country, number three in Jacksonville. What is it about Jacksonville? Are these people maybe who are traveling and, and coming to the area, you know, when they're young or maybe older? It's a combination of things. The data that's putting us number nine came out in 2014. I think when the 2016 data comes out, we're going to do a little better here. We have a lot of efforts in Jacksonville combating to decrease our number of diagnoses. We have a lot of great agencies that are putting together a good effort to really bring down these numbers to get education out, awareness, and to get testing. And it's interesting because that really touches on really what members of the community can do mm -hmm. to help decrease those numbers, which is important, quite frankly, for all of us, regardless of the lifestyle that you live. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about prevention, um, beginning with certainly um, to reduce the HIV and AIDS rate, reducing the stigma. Are people still, even after all of these years, still ambivalent about talking about it? They are, and the one thing you have to remember about HIV is it doesn't discriminate. It can affect anyone at any time. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where you live, how much money you make, all HIV cares about is that you're human. It can, it can affect anyone at any time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and considering that uh, talking about it is the first part of increasing awareness, correct? It is. Education is key. We have to talk about HIV and AIDS to our children. We have to talk about it in our schools. Letting people know that getting tested is the way you find out if you have HIV. If we don't get tested, no one knows their status. Mm -hmm. And is testing difficult? Is it hard to access? What, what do you think the barrier is there? It, finding a testing site is not hard to access. You can go on our website, lssjax.org. We have a list of every testing site in Northeast Florida. Um, you can get tested any day of the week in Jacksonville. Every year you go to your medical doctor and you get a physical exam. Ask them to get tested. You can get it done there if you don't want to go into a clinic, if you don't want to go out to a testing event. This week is World AIDS Week in Jacksonville. We've had hundreds of sites doing testing all over our city. So there's no reason not to be able to find a place to get tested. Is there a certain person who should be tested? I mean, who, who are we talking about in terms of predominantly the 6,000? Is it, you know, uh, people who are homosexual? Is it drug users because they're sharing needles? Who in the population would you talk to the most? There are a lot of high-risk populations, and, and the two you named are individuals that have, um, males that have sex with males are a high-risk population. Individuals that um, use intravenous drugs are a high-risk. But the main thing about HIV is it can affect anyone. Jacksonville has the number one rate of heterosexual um, transmissions right now in the state. So it can affect anyone. That's, that's the reason why we're telling you out there. If you're listening to the show, one in seven of you have HIV AIDS and you're unaware of your status. Mm -hmm. The only way to know is to get out and get tested. And now you're, uh, you're making this a little easier, certainly also for those to get tested, but also those to find help. Uh, you have three facilities already here in Jacksonville. There's a new one that's opening, in fact, in the spring of next year on the south side. Is, is transportation a big barrier considering you already have three? There are three clinics that, he, that treat individuals living with HIV and AIDS in Jacksonville. We are partnering with the Community AIDS Network to, to make a new comprehensive care clinic on the south side of Jacksonville. And the reason we're doing that is Jacksonville is a huge city. If you've yeah. been around, transportation can be a barrier. And we want to reduce all those barriers to care that we can get. So we will have a new facility opening in April or in spring of 2017. So we'll be able to offer more services at our Phillips Highway location. Fantastic. Heather, thank you very much for being here. Do thank appreciate so it. An important conversation to have, particularly considering the fact that today is World AIDS Day.